Hello everybody, okay, this is the conventional master socket that was installed many years ago in a lot of properties. A lot of people would recognise this one. It's very much like a secondary telephone point, but this one's got a ring capacitor in it and they call it the master. Um, so the one after this one was the NTE5, which was that one that replaced this um, much older one. And the one that replaced the NTE5 was uh, the um, BT Open Reach 5C Mark IV, which was, a lot of people nowadays use, is this uh, slightly bigger one. Anyway, we're not doing anything on these two, so I'll take these two away. Um, we've already done a couple of videos on them. So this is all about the master in the good old days. So that's all it is, it's quite a basic unit. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. So two screws again that hold the faceplate to the back box. The back box would be screwed onto the wall. But in this circumstance, we will uh, just pretend, you know, we'll imagine that that box is screwed onto the wall, but we're going to be able to move it about. Anyway, let's have a look. So I've undone one screw already, uh, so I've just got to undo this one. So take this out and I'll show you what's inside this little master original telephone point. Okay. So there's your back box. That'll be screwed onto your wall. Your cables, if you see in there, you've got a round circle just there. You can punch that out. And then through the wall, they used to install the incoming cable from, from your telephone line provider. Or you could come in, there's a little, a little break out there at the top of the box. And sometimes you'll have, so yeah, so that's the bottom of the box. Either come, you can either use it for the bottom or the top depending where the cable's coming into the property. But a lot of times for the neater job, so I punch this middle part out of the back box and the cable comes straight through the wall and straight to the back of this box. Okay, so let's have a look at this now then. So this is the, the face plate of the, uh, of the uh, old master. And if I turn it around, you'll see that we've got some ports. Uh, the numbering's upside down, so let me just turn that up that way. So let's just get this positioned right. So the bottom port is one, the middle port on the right hand side is two, and the one at the top is three. On the other side, you've got four, five, and six. So the middle two ports are the voice. This is how you run your telephone. Two is the B leg, and five is the A leg. Three, uh, three is the bell wire, which we used for um, old telephones that needed a bell to make them ring. That's the bell capacitor. That's what makes uh, the actual phone ring. Um, now, if that wasn't in there, if that was cut out and you, your resistor there was cut out, that would, and this one here was cut out, those three items cut out, you would just have a plate like this with this. And that's called a secondary secondary LJU line jack unit which you'd use for extension wiring so this would be your master I'm going to turn it this way because it's, it's easier to look at it um, even though the numbers for some reason are upside down there but anyway so this would be um, this would be your master without this this and this you'd be classed as a secondary for running extensions okay so like I say Five is the A leg, two is the B leg, and three is the bell wire. In most circumstances now, you only need two and five. So two and five is all you need now. And that's it. And if you want to run extension wiring, you would have your incoming coming in on two and five from outside, and then you'll pick it back on top of that. So you'd crimp down another set of wires on top of the originals. So let's say the original your, your, your wiring from uh, the exchange was on an orange on the A leg and a white on the B leg. 
and then you want to put extension wiring on this you would put your white blue from your, your, your extension cables normally a white blue on the on top of the orange which is in port five and your blue with white dash on two which would be on the white wire coming from outside and then you would just there wouldn't be a, anything else that would, that that would be the only two coming from outside with your extension on the top but then if you wanted to run a, a bell wire from your extension cable you would use a orange with white dash on that port just there which is number three and there is it and then what you would do you'd break out a point there you'd either come out of there or come out of the side with your um with your extension cabling going off to um an extension say maybe upstairs in the bedroom and really that's all there is to this um this video uh you'd put this i'll put this back on here like so you put your two screws back in to hold it all in place all your cable will be neatly tucked in all your cable will be neatly tucked in the back of that box with your, your incoming coming through the wall and your extension wires leaving the box on the side or below and it'll all be neatly coiled up in the back of that box with a little bit of slack and then you just do your two screws up to secure the face plate to the uh the back box and uh that is all there is to it so if you'd like to um subscribe that would be absolutely amazing because i will be doing some more videos and if you'd like to give me a like on this video i'd really appreciate that too and there you have it just a simple old style master telephone point um, and it's quite easy once you get inside one of these there's not much to it um, and that's all there is thank you very much for listening to this video